Philly Children, Philly, what's up, man? USCJ here with some breaking news, with some big time news. USC just received a commitment from three star running back Dwayne Morris. Listen, Dwayne is out of the state of Tennessee. He's considered a three star. And listen, he is ranked as the number 30, 32 running back overall. But he's a very, very shifty running back. We'll talk about his information real quick and what all Dwayne can do. Let's go. And as I stated, Dwayne is a three star. And man, when you think of shifty running backs, you're going to actually think of a guy like Relique Brown. I mean, he's automatically, um, that's who he puts you in the mind frame of. Um, Relique Brown was very shifty as well. This kid can do it all as well. Um, he's considered a slot slash running back. Um, you got to wonder, you got to know that USC is absolutely going to put him there and move and groove with him. That's how Lincoln likes to do it. And this is a very, very versatile guy. Um, you know, standing at five foot ten, 185 pounds, but he's considered a consistent three star all across the board. Um, Rivals actually has him as the number, excuse me, this is 24 7 Sports, actually has him as the number 61 athlete in the country. Uh, on three has him as the number 32 athlete in the country. Um, so but his overall rate is at 88.06, and I think that USC is getting a phenomenal player. You guys see it here. He was uh, multiple schools were on his radar. Uh, they were recruiting them. Schools like Ole Miss, Kentucky, Louisville, Vanderbilt, Tennessee, um, a lot of SEC schools. So you're talking about a kid that can absolutely move and groove. And USC is getting a quality, quality player. And when you look at this running back room now, you're getting a guy that's going to add a lot of versatility. He has what we call. Um, little shake and bake in him because you see it here in this film um, not only can he run away from you but the sideline to sideline the lateral movement um, the shake and bake um, he can absolutely do it and that's what you want um, in, in the back you know you want the power backs we got the Brandon Jackson we got the Marion Peterson which is power and speed and then we got the uh, Marion Peterson as well um, he's more of a power but this kid is coming in more of a speed and he, he, and he possesses some power, but this guy's got speed and he got some wiggle. And you can utilize him in all kinds of different ways. And so, man, you guys can drop those comments and let me know what you guys think. Um, we'll take a look at some other things on him as well as it relates to what he's able to do. And as you see here, but prior to this commitment, these were the schools that were in his top 10. And you see the schools that were serious about him here. Auburn, USC, Louisville, Florida, Colorado. Tennessee, Texas A&M, Missouri, Ole Miss, and Kentucky. So you're talking about good company. You're talking about USC able to go back into SEC country. And I actually believe that Anthony Anthony uh, Jones, the new running back coach, was actually recruiting him while he was at TCU. So um, he didn't put TCU in his top. But you see him here at this top 10. This is a big time impressive top 10. So you're talking about a guy that's going to move and grow. You guys can let me know what you guys think about Dwayne Morris. We say welcome, welcome Dwayne Morris to the Trojan family, man. He got lost in the USC love sauce once again. And that star power continues to, you had, they had a Dory Jackson there. You have multiple guys um, that USC is able to utilize and be able to pull on once again. And it's straight up go time. So man, drop those comments. Let me know what's your thoughts on Dwayne Morris, new USC running back commit until later on. Everybody stay blessed. Fight on.